I had a request for a video showing you how to do the hanging indent in Max Pages. So I thought I'd start with just right from the beginning with finding a source and sticking it on that reference page and then formatting it. So I'm starting with our virtual library here that we use in Georgia. And I put in a search and got some articles here that I might use. And I've selected the first one right here. And if I just go to that first abstract page, this is one thing I love about our database service, is we can go right over here to the right-hand side and click Cite, and it will give us the sample citations from a variety of different documentation styles. So I'm going to go ahead and select the APA style. I'm going to copy that. And then I'm going to go right over here to my Pages document that I've already set up, and I'm going to paste that in here. Now it comes in with its own formatting or lack of formatting so the first thing I want to do is make sure it's double spaced. And now to do that hanging indent I'm going to go right over here to my toolbox. I'm in the text tab and in here I'll select the tabs tab and I'm going to leave this first line alone under paragraph indents. I'm going over here to the second box and I'm going to notch that up one. And boom, that's all there is to it. I've got my hanging indent. So I'm going to do that one more time with another source. Let's go ahead and close that source and go back to our list. And I'm going to pick another one. This one looks good. Again, I'm going over here to the Cite button. And of course, you could type all this in yourself by hand, but I sure find this a lot easier. I'm going to copy that. I'm going to paste it right over here. Again, it came in single space, so I need to reformat that by double spacing it. And I'm going over here, see all the different elements in our toolbox. I'm going to select Text. Go to the tabs frame, and I'm going to notch up that left indent just one little spot. And there you go. You've got two entries with hanging indents. Now, in an APA document, these have to be in alphabetical order, and the two samples I have aren't quite ready yet. So I'm going to take the very first one, and I'm going to just move it down so that it's the second entry and now it's in the correct order. Another thing you want to watch out for when you're doing your reference page is double check those entries. I love this service that Galileo gives us where it will actually show us the APA citation but there are people entering those in and sometimes they don't put the titles in in the right format. In this case the capitalization is not correct. So I want to make sure that that looks right. And I've actually had to add a, a third party function here. I go over to my services and I've got it set up. I can change my capitalization over here to the sentence case, which is what this should be. Now if you try to do that in pages itself, it really only gives you these capitalization options, either all caps, small caps, or in title case. So I had to go to something called Word Service and I downloaded that. But it's really simple and you can see it was just one step to change all that so I didn't have to go in and type each letter and exchange it for a capital or a non-capital letter. So there you go. That's how you get your reference page started and that's how you do a hanging indent.